Oh yeah, first bite, y'all. It seems like over the last decade or so, people have been getting weirder and weirder with their diets. You know, with people going keto or paleo or doing the raw diet. You know, all of those fad diets that people seem to love that are actually terrible for you. But, uh, nothing, and I really mean nothing, can top what I'm going to show you today. The title is not clickbait. It's the furthest thing from it, actually. This guy eats nothing but raw, rotten, maggot-infested meat. That's it. Now, I want to make it very clear that I'm really not joking. If you have a light stomach, I would advise that you click away. Now this video gets so weird for reasons beyond him just eating the meat that I'm not even going to try to prepare you. Let's just watch it. Please subscribe. This all got started last week on a Sunday. It's been about... Five days since I acquired this... New York strip and left it in a jar in my truck. You need a haircut, my man. We'll take care of that. All right, so this is only five days in and it already has more hair than a newborn child and he's gonna let it rot more. Now I did some research and apparently some people do this to eat the meat and get high because you can react to some of the chemicals in the rotting meat and it'll give you like a buzz, like, why? why? Why would you do that? Weed is cheaper than a New York strip. He says that's not why he does it, but why else would you do this? It's got white mold. It's got fuzzy mold. It's got weird little dimple thingies. Now call me crazy, but um, if I was going to be consuming mold, I think I'd actually want to know what it was. And based off of this guy's naming system, I have the slightest feeling that he doesn't actually know what these molds are. I was gonna eat it on day six, but it took me too long to build up the courage. The wife ended up coming home from lunch. I hid the steak in the closet, you know. Okay, this is kind of what I was talking about when I said this video gets really weird. How do you hide this from your spouse? This guy's gonna end up dead, and his wife's gonna be like, Oh my god, he was of perfect health, what happened? And the doctor's gonna be the one that has to tell her that they found 12 pounds of rotten pork chops in his stomach. Just try and put yourself in the wife's shoes for a second here. You go to the closet to look for your coat, and you find a rotten steak baby in a jar? How, how would you even react to that? Until Saturday, my wife proclaimed, What the hell is in that closet in the bathroom? And I uh, immediately confessed to uh, this luxurious piece of meat that I'd been stashing. I assured her not to worry, and I would quickly dispose of the... Uh, of the fungally goodness. Oh my god, this is getting even deeper. So now this meat is putting a strain on the marriage. He's having to go behind her back to eat this meat. And I think the previous meats are starting to have an effect on his brain activity. Because he can only produce about five words every ten seconds. I'm not too worried about it. It's been purified by fungus. I'm looking forward to giving you this incredible flavor portfolio. It doesn't smell bad. Like, it has a little bit of odor, but since it was dry aged, there's not a lot of moisture and the fungus has a funk, but nothing like the bacteria. Oh my gosh. So. Mm. Okay, so that was pretty hard to watch, right? That is the absolute tip. A, a snowflake on the iceberg. You have seen nothing. The old high meat's coming right along. A real man's maggoty high meat. 
You have to actually have something wrong with you to look at that and want to eat it. Something wrong with your basic primal instincts. This is not normal. I know the meat's ready. Once these flies, once these maggots start turning into flies. I kind of left it in the direct sunlight and uh, they all kind of died, you see. They got nice and big and fat, but there's the dead maggot carcasses. Let's check on the old high meat project. I can literally smell it through the camera. This cannot be safe. This man is eating the equivalent of a nuclear bomb. If you were to take this onto the battlefield and throw it at a soldier, they'd evaporate on contact. Right now they're all kind of hidden up inside the meat. See? They don't like being disturbed. Then I'm going to consider this high meat ready. And I'm going to chow down. We're almost there. See the little red and the black dots as of the, uh, the maggots that have started to pupate into flies. So I've been doing some more research because I don't know how this guy is still alive. And the answer I've pretty much found is by luck. Drying meat like this in a jar with no airflow can essentially produce meat that will poison you. This guy needs to quit while he's ahead. So my high meat is estimated at four months old now. I kind of lost track of time on this one. This is where we're at now. Let's see. Oh yeah, the bottom of it is still really, really gooey. And see there's still, still some live ones in there. Cool little maggot going on right there. There's some more. Yeah, they're happy. They're in here in this sludgy bacterial slime, just enjoying life and having a good old time. None of those words describe my feelings while watching this video. I am feeling quite the opposite of those maggots, I must say. Got about uh, 16 ounces of uh, beef blood from work today. And mix it up and use it to get all the goodness out of this jar. But I'm not going to drink it yet. We're going to wait until after the high meat is eaten and then use this to wash it down. That way we get everything. This is going to be cool because we're going to have all these dead maggot bodies too. <laughs> you know, I'm happy with this. I get in on this piece so you can see this little bugger crawling around on there. You got to focus real good. Mm -hmm. First bite, y'all. I bite it a couple times to get my saliva on it, and then I just pretty much swallow it down. The taste is not horrendous. I just cannot understand. If you're not doing this to get high, why would you do it? I mean, he obviously doesn't like it. You don't describe something as not horrendous if it tastes good whatsoever. So why is he doing this? I just don't get it. Mm. Oh, something went pop. I can feel the back of my throat start to spice up now as the bacteria, yes, it, it is quite spicy. See, I got all the uh, dead maggots and uh, mm -hmm. some of the pods. This is gonna be my next bite. I'm not worried about maggots. I live in the city. Who knows what these flies were living on before they got to my meat. <laughs> Just gotta talk yourself into swallowing each bite. I've become numb to him eating the meat, and now I'm just anxiously waiting for when he chugs that jar, because I'm quite certain that's going to make me throw up. I'm gonna follow your lead. Oh! I'm getting bored of high meat. Oh, that's a terrible joke, right? <laughs> no, I know nobody's laughing, whatever. Oh, oh, you got on my nose. Now my nose stinks. Yeah, this is the stuff right here. God knew what he was doing. If we were meant to eat cooked food, then God would have made animals already cooked to begin with. Well, following that stupid logic, God should have never let us discover fire then.
Oh. Hang it. <laughs> it did taste like your regular old blood from the package when I uh, first <laughs> got it, but now it's mixed with the high meat schmegma. <laughs> oh, God. It's actually not bad. I mean, it looks like cranberry juice. Oh. I want to get them little buggies. I want to leave them on. Get in my belly. Get in my belly. Oh. No oh. drops. Almost gagged. <laughs> Almost gagged on the last sip. That was the sip with all the chunks in it. <laughs> oh god, okay. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Yeah. I am, uh, quite glad that that is over. I just have so many questions. This seems like the most pointless torture to put yourself through. Just... Just why. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Wow, that was quite disgusting. I would be perfectly fine without ever having to see that again. But do you know what you will not be perfectly fine never seeing again? August the Duck's delicious videos. So make sure you subscribe so you never miss any of them. If you don't, I will be forced to uppercut your grandmother.